What is going on everyone? My name is Ken. Thank you guys for coming back. Today's video, we're going to be comparing the GoPro Hero 7 versus the Acaso Brave 7. Let's get started. All right, guys, again, welcome back. My name is Ken. Thank you guys for coming back for yet another video. Like I said before, we are going to compare the uh, GoPro Hero 7 versus the Brave 7. Now, for disclosure, you guys, we do we all know that the Brave 7 is not going to compete with the uh, GoPro Hero 7 when it comes to a lot of different things because this particular action camera, one, is more expensive, but it does a lot more things than this particular action camera. Now, they do have their differences, and we're going to talk about that after we see the videos, but the question is, is it worth paying the extra cost to go to this camera, which is the GoPro Hero 7, versus staying with this camera, which is the Braze 7. Lucky for you, I got some videos to show you guys, and we're gonna jump to those videos right now. We have the GoPro Hero 7 versus the Castle Braze 7 LE, and we are recording at 4K at 30 frames per second on both cameras. Stabilization is on on both cameras. So here we go. And again, we're just trying to see Based on these two cameras, is it worth paying the extra price to go up to the Brave, to the, to the GoPro Hero 7? And again, guys, we're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Let me know which one looked the best. Let me know which stabilization looked the best. Pretty sure the GoPro is gonna win, but the question is, is it worth it? Switching over to the next mode. Means for a second. Again, stabilization is on on both cameras. I'm paying up a little bit. Went into a shaded area, so this is a good way to test the Braze 7 LE again. We already know the GoPro Hero 7 does a really good job in this kind of this kind of low light, but how does the Bray 7 LE look? Again, I'm walking. I got both cameras on. Stabilization is on, and I'm trying not to shake too much. But let me know how it looks. And leave me some comments down below. All right, getting ready to switch over to the. All right, guys, this is 2.7 at 30 frames per second. Do a quick pan. There's a lot of things down. I'm gonna show it to you. So walking, try not to trip and fall, but also a good time when I move from side to side to test the stabilization. See, you see a lot of shake in the video. All right, guys, so this is 2.7, 30 frames per second. Switching over to the next mode. All right, guys, so this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. Walking back through the same area that we was before. Do a quick pan to my right. You guys can see all of the tree roots and stuff like that. All right, guys, getting ready to switch over to the next mode. The heel, so it's going to test the stabilization on the camera. 
on both cameras. And once again, we're just trying to look and get a, a clear glimpse on the colors, stabilization, just to see is it really worth paying the extra cost to go up to a GoPro Hero 7 from Brave 7 LE. Now, both camera has their unique differences and we'll discuss that later, but just wanted to see based on just a visual test, is it worth upgrading? All right, guys, so leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know which camera had the better stabilization. Let me know which camera looks the best. And yeah, so that's it. All right, so let's talk about some positive first. Audio quality. Audio quality on the Brave 7 LE and on the GoPro Hero 7 was really good. I'm really impressed with the audio quality on the Brave 7 LE because, as you guys know, Acaso have had a lot of issues when it comes to internal audio. Uh, and I'm really impressed with the Brave 7 LE, I mean, with the, yeah, with the Brave 7 LE because the internal audio sounds really good. And I've been shooting with it for a little while and doing a lot of different things with it. And the audio quality, when you put it in post, it sounds really good. I'm so I mean, that's a really good thing. So I'm really impressed with that particular portion on this particular action camera. Now, also, if you're someone who loved that natural look, the, 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 the look that when you shooting something and it looks exactly the way you look when you're outside, the Brave 7 LE gave you a better look than the GoPro Hero 7. Now, that doesn't mean that the GoPro Hero 7 is not a good camera because, as you guys know, the GoPro Hero 7 is amazing. Uh, but if you look, if you're someone like my wife and you're looking for that natural look, then the, the Brave 7 LE gave you more of that natural look. The GoPro Hero 7, which is something that I like, just like the Camper V30, gave you a more sharper look. And to me, I like that. It kind of makes it, all the colors look vibrant. It kind of made you look, made kind of make you want to go out there and enjoy the day when you see the uh the film that coming from the gopro hero 7 just like the camp rv30 gave you more of a sharper look which is something that i prefer so again that's my opinion you guys may have something totally different but let's talk about some of the negative side of the of the brave 7 le this this is something that you guys have heard me say before number one stabilization stabilization is not that good on the brave 7 le i prefer the stabilization on the castle vdx the brave set the brave 6 plus and, you know the the, uh, the 50 pro the castle v 50 pro and see those all those action cameras to me really has a better stabilization than the brave 7 le hopefully a castle will fix this up in the, uh, in the firmware update which is something that i've actually mentioned to them hopefully that will be coming here soon i don't know but hopefully that's something that they would definitely look into and try to fix the stabilization because this action camera is really too good of an action camera not to have that type of stabilization it has everything that you would want from a higher end action camera like the front facing screen for the stabilization may not be that good and again this is something that i mentioned to them while in a review that i did in the past uh another thing that the gopro hero 7 has over the uh castle uh the castle brace 7 le and a lot of other action cameras is just the fact that you can update the uh action camera from downloading the app in your phone so you can definitely connect those two and you can stay up to date on the latest firmware uh from the camera but hopefully a castle would do you know sometime down the road maybe not this year but next year we'll get better at letting everybody know when the firmware is up there the updated is out there so we can go out there and check it out um but you know it is what it is. It's a cheaper version action camera. It's never going to compete with the GoPro Hero 7. It's not meant to do that. But a positive thing about the Go by Castle Line of cameras is the fact that it gives you tons of accessories and it will save you money down the road. Like I said before, the question is, can you actually make this action camera work for you without spending the price on this particular action camera and i think you can now this there are a lot of places a lot of things where this action camera is really going to be meant for versus uh this particular action camera because of the price if you want something do you know you want to take it out for a day if you're afraid that you may mess up your camera this is only 139 dollars, so it's not going to actually drain your wallet like this particular one will so that to me particularly i do like that fact uh, i have both action cameras I, and to me 
honest with you, I like them both. And again, there's times and place where this action camera will take the place and probably be a better suited situation versus this. And it's also gonna come down to your wallet, to your money, and which can you afford? Is it, can you afford to save up to buy this particular action camera? Or can you know just go ahead and get, get this and make it work for you? I believe that you can do either or. So to me, and again, leave some comments down below. It's up to you guys which one you choose to buy. It's up to you if you want to save up and spend more on this and get less accessories, uh, but and get something like this and get more accessories depending on what you want to do and have the accessory that you already need in the box for you. So all right, guys, this is going to wrap this particular video up. I really do appreciate y'all for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you'll know when I drop another video. The next video we're going to be doing using is the Campart V40. So we're going to take a look at that particular action camera as well and be comparing it to the Bray 7 LE. So we're going to look at that particular action camera. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you'll know when I drop that video. And as always, guys, I appreciate y'all for joining me. Peace. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.